Hey guys, this is Crafty Fox, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic Christmas and holiday season. Uh, anyways, we are baking the Minecraft 1 to 1 scale break train in Minecraft. And I just said Minecraft twice, but this here is the 1 to 1 scale BNSF uh, locomotive. I just did a troll on, and I realized you guys do need some rolling stock for the 1 to 1 scale trains. So I assembled this train as an example of what you could do. It's just like a smaller scale than 1.5 to 1 scale. So I guess it's easier to build and faster. So we have a couple of different rolling stock here that I'm going to show a tutorial on. So first off, we have the Railbox boxcar, what it looks like. And then we have the standard tank car. Then we have a BNSF covered hopper. And I did a tutorial on all three of these cars in 1.5 to 1 scale. And I just downscaled them. And actually, never mind, the BNSF one I didn't do a tutorial on yet. But you can see the difference. I, I had this 1.5 to 1 scale version, and basically what I did, I just divided by 1.5, and then this is um, what it looks like in 1 to 1 scale. It's a lot smaller, but still has a lot of the same detail. Um, and yeah, these are all three cars. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And if you guys do want to support the channel, leave a like button down below. But anyways, let's get started. All right, to build the BNSF covered hopper, we'll grab some materials. This red terracotta, gray terracotta, dark oak bun, nether brick stairs, dark oak slab, acacia stairs, a slab, fence gate, trap door, and that's it for now. So we're going to add in first the coupling. So that's just going to be a dark oak slab in the middle of the tracks hovering above. And behind it, we're going to add in uh, a pair of these gray terracottas on the tracks then upside down nether brick stairs right behind it and then another pair of wheels then we'll add in dark oak buns to the sides of the wheels like so and then on top we'll add in acacia stairs right on top of this front wheel acacia slab in the middle and behind it, we'll add in the same thing. So acacia stairs on the side, slab in the middle, and then a row of slabs like that. Then we'll add in this red terracotta. So it's two blocks tall. And we're going to make it so it is 12 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Then we're going to add in the wheel down here. You pretty much build the same exact thing, skip a block, another wheel, say down, add the brick stairs in between, and dark oak buns to the sides of the wheels. Same thing over here. And don't forget to add in our dark oak slab with the coupling here. On top we'll add in the acacia stairs, and acacia slabs in the spaces between it. And for this uh, red terracotta we'll just make it two blocks tall and do the same thing on the other side. That fill in the middle area, and then we'll add in upside down acacia stairs three blocks wide, and red terracotta on top, and then acacia stairs three blocks wide upside down again. And the top of that will be a red terracotta, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So upside down acacia stairs, red terracotta inside the nook, red terracotta on top three blocks wide. And acacia stairs upside down again, and then a uh, red terracotta on top. Okay, so then we're going to make this red terracotta go all the way across the center to the other side. Like that. And then on over here, there's going to be acacia uh, fence gates. It's going to be three blocks tall. And this is going to be on either side. I am crouching to place them on, and we're going to open all these fence gates up. Alright, and then the side here, we'll add another Keisha fence gate, open that up. I believe the other side will do that as well, open that up. And then on top of this uh, stairs, we'll add in an Acacia fence, like that. And then we'll add in an Acacia trapdoor in between the middle two Acacia fence gates, and then we'll go on the other side. And um, on the right hand side, we'll add three blocks tall, Kisha fence gates, open them up. 
Fissure, fence gate right here to the side, open them up. Other side, same thing. And on this side, there's going to be a brake wheel, so that's going to be a red sandstone wall with an acacia uh, fence gate on top, two blocks tall. Open them up. Add acacia trap door on the bottom one, open that up. That's going to be our brake wheel. Then we'll add an acacia trap door in the middle. And then on the inner side of this, we'll add in um, another brick slabs in between where the wheels are. Other side, same thing. Then we're going to skip a block here, add two acacia trap doors. And then we're going to skip two blocks and add two. Then skip two, add two. And then we'll, on the inside of that, there's going to be uh, this acacia slabs right there. I'm going to do this to all of them. Add acacia trap doors on the side of it. And then underneath here, we'll fill that in red terracotta, actually that. And then in the gaps in the middle of this car, we'll fill that in with the red terracotta. And then we'll add in acacia uh, fence gate to the sides of these slabs. Open them up. And another fence gate right over here. Open it up. And in the gaps, we'll fill that in. Acacia trap doors. Right there. Okay, so next we'll go on uh, the roof area. And we'll add in these pattern of acacia slabs. And stairs, so there's going to be a slab here. And stairs going to face each other like this. And you'll see like there's like this one block gap. So you're going to pretty much uh, make a bunch of these. So yeah, you're going to keep on doing this until we reach the other end where there should end in a slab. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Alright, so once we add it up to both sides, we're going to go on one end. Add iron trap door, three blocks wide. Add another one sticking out. And make sure you don't open it. Sorry, I have a mod that opens iron trap doors. And then add acacia trap door underneath that. We'll do this other side, same thing, just make that T-shape. Acacia trap door underneath. And then the middle is going to be smooth stone slabs all the way across to the other side. Then we'll add in iron trap doors to the side of these slabs all the way. And other side will do the same exact thing. Alright, so next we'll go inside. Add in a row of red terracotta here, uh, both ends. Then we'll add to the left hand side two smooth quartz sl uh, slabs, other side two smooth quartz stairs. And we'll add red terracotta in the gap like that. Other side, we'll do the same thing but backwards, slabs on this side, stairs on the other side. Acacia, um, I mean red terracotta in the gaps. And we'll fill in red terracotta inside between um, like that. Now I have to add in the buttons. So there's going to be a birch button. Make a, a upside down L shape backwards. L shape underneath this line here. Like that. And add one diagonally right there. And the other side will do the same thing. And then underneath the other one we'll add in a polished blackstone button with a birch button. And then we're to skip two blocks, add a birch button. And then skip a block, add a birch button above. And we'll try to remember all of that when we do this side. Like that, skip two, add one, skip one, add one above. And then we'll add an oak button underneath the birch button and next to the other birch button. Other side, we'll do the same thing. Uh, oak button uh, underneath this one and next to the other one. So it should look like uh, this. Alright, so yeah, that's how you make the BNSF covered hopper. Now we're going to move on to the rail box boxcar. So that's going to be uh, first dark oak slab in the middle, tracks, a pair of gray terracottas, skip a block, another pair, add it upside down, uh, nether brick stairs in between, and dark oak buttons to the sides of the wheels. 
And actually the one wheel on the outer edge, that probably doesn't have a button because there's going to be this ladder here. Alright, so anyways, there's going to be this oak slab. I'm going to make it uh, three blocks wide. And we're going to make it nine blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Extend the other side. Then we're going to build the same thing that we did on the other side. Just add in the wheels again. The gray terracotta. Skip a block, another one. Uh, dark oak. I mean, upside down nether brick stairs in between. And then dark oak buns the sides of the middle wheel. And a dark oak slab in the middle for coupler. In the middle of that, there's going to be a nether brick slab inside of this bogey, both sides. All right, then we'll take out yellow um, terracotta, skip a block here, and add it. So it's going to be five long, so one, two, three, four, five. Then other side, we'll do the same thing, so skip one here, add five, one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to add in... So it's two blocks tall. Sides. And the middle area that's going to be four blocks tall. That. And then we'll add in this doorway, which is going to be a blackstone stairs. Upside down on sides. Facing inside. And facing outwards in the middle. Like that. And then we'll do the same exact thing on the other side, just copy it. Shouldn't be too hard since you're just making a mirrored image so far. And make this two blocks tall and then add in the doorway. All right, so after we're done with that, we're gonna go uh, to this edge here. Alright, so after we're done with that, we'll add in oak stairs upside down. Add to this, oak stairs in the middle, yellow terracotta on top in the middle of that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Add it like so. And then we'll add in this little ladder, so that's going to be oak uh, fence gates, three blocks tall. Open that up. And oak fence gates here, open them up. And the other side, oak and skates three blocks tall like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. Just a bunch of oak fence gates. Okay. After we're done with that, we can add in, uh, on this side, there's gonna be a brake wheel, so that's gonna be an oak uh, trap door. Close it up like that. Then we'll go over here and uh, skip a block here, add in two yellow terracottas. And then two black concretes after it and above it. And yellow concrete in the gaps like that. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite end. So there is going to be uh, two yellow concretes, I mean yellow terracottas, and black concrete on top and after it, and then yellow inside this nook. And we'll go back over here. And we will add in yellow terracotta. Two blocks tall here, and two blocks tall here, and two blocks wide on top. Other side will do the same thing. Making a one by 2 hole here. So in this hole, we're going to fill that in with uh, light blue concrete. And then acacia uh, slabs, so they are diagonally like this. Other side will do the same thing. Then on top, we'll add in a dark oak bun, three blocks, skip a block, add one, and add another two underneath this. And we'll actually make this an upside down L shape. And then we're gonna go dialing down and then dialing up. That reminds me of like a dipper shape. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So it's gonna be three dark oak buns. Let's skip one, add one, then add two here. Make it go down diagonally, and then we're going to make it go down again diagonally, and up diagonally. And then we'll take out uh, oak buns, add it to the side of the black concretes. Other side, we'll do the same thing. And there will be another dark oak bun diagonal to this acacia slab. 
other side will do the same thing. Add another two dark oak buttons in this bottom corner. Other side, same thing. Alright, and then on the edges we'll add in two by three oak stairs upside down. An oak trap door on top in the middle. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Oak trap door in the middle, and then the middle of that there's gonna be a smooth stone slab that goes all the way across the roof. We'll add in an iron trap door on top of all of them. Then we'll take out light uh, gray and gray carpet and we'll just make an alternating pattern next to the iron trap doors. So first I'm going to lay out the light grays and then we'll fill in the gaps with the grays. Like so. Alrighty, so it looks good so far. So yeah, that's actually pretty much it on how to build uh, the Railbox box car. Now we're going to move on to the last piece of rolling stock, the tank car. So first off, um, we're going to place down our oak, dark oak slab in the middle. Then we're going to add three nether brick slabs. So one, two, three. Gray terracottas. Make uh, four of them for the wheels. Upside down, nether brick stairs in between. Dark oak buttons on the sides of the wheels. Other side will do the same thing. Then I'm going to add a black carpet right above the first two wheels like that. And then we'll take out dark oak fence gate. And we're going to make this 11 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Other side will do the same thing again, making an 11 long. And after we're doing that, uh, we're going to add in the wheels for the other side, which are pretty much the same thing. So make the wheel again with the gray terracottas, another brick slab in the middle, another brick stairs upside down, dark oak buttons the sides of the wheels, and another brick slab for the coupler, and a black carpet on top in the middle of these two wheels. Then we'll take out another brick fence and put it on the outer edge uh, wheels. And a row across of dark oak trap door. Other side will do the same thing. Like that. And now for the tank, there's going to be a black concrete. Make a plus sign. Like that, three blocks tall. And the inside of the plus, we're going to add another black concrete. And delete the middle and add in an upper smooth quartz slab like that. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side, making a plus sign. Add one behind it in the middle and add a smooth quartz slab inside. Alrighty. And then on this side, um, we can add in black concrete all the way across the middle on top. And then we'll add in um, Nether brick stairs facing the outer edge. Uh, both the top and the bottom should do that. Other side will do the same thing. Like so. And then there's going to be this pattern of oak <laughs> stairs. So there's going to be oak stairs here upside down. And then two nether brick stairs. Oak stairs, two nether brick stairs, oak stairs, two nether brick stairs, oak stairs, and then a stone brick stairs right behind that. Nether brick stairs and oak stairs. And the other side will do the same thing, so oak stairs. And let me check where the stone brick, okay, the stone brick's over there. So two nether brick stairs, oak stairs. Two nether brick, then oak, two nether brick, oak, and then a stone brick, another brick stairs, and then an oak stairs. Alright. Then we'll add in um, 
black wall two blocks wide here and a birch button besides that do the same thing on the other end just on the other side all right then we'll add to this edge here add a black concrete and we'll take out smooth court steers add two upside down and then right one right side up other side we'll do the same thing black concrete upside down stairs one right side up and then inside of that we'll fill that in with black concrete for both of them as for the rest of the wall here we'll fill that in black concrete all the way across the middle all the top section is going to be nether brick stairs all the way across other side we'll do the same thing and then on top to this end we'll add um, birch buttons three blocks long like that skip one away from the edge and then we're to skip one add in a nether brick or a dark oak fence gate with nether brick fences on either side of it then dark oak fence gate two blocks long both sides open up this one and other side same thing and then we'll add a nether brick fence and dark oak fence gate. And to this edge here, we'll add in three blocks tall dark oak fence gates, open them all up. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And then on top, we'll add in a dark oak trap door with a nether brick slab behind it. And that's pretty much it on how to build all three types of rolling stock for your one-on-one -on -one scale trains. I hope you guys uh, do make a very nice train that looks like this so in your worlds. Uh, they are a lot easier to build than 1.5 to 1 scale uh, builds. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do and you want to support the channel, leave a like button down below and a comment. You can comment anything uh, if you guys have any thoughts about the build. And if you have any further requests, let me know in the comment section down below as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.